Hi and welcome to this quick grab. In this one we're going to look at the concept of the major scale. I have the C major scale written on the stave at the top here and just by way of example we're going to play that first. What I want you to look at is take a look at the keyboard as we play through this. You will see the notes will highlight on the piano keyboard as they're playing through on the stave. You'll see that it's all of the white keys from C to the next C. So just take a look at that as we play through. And the note names there are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and to the top C. So that's what it sounds like, that's what it looks like on the piano. Let's take a look at actually what's happening there. What we're interested in is looking at the intervals between the notes. Um, there's another video on intervals which describes the concept of semitone and tone, so if you're unfamiliar with those, check out that video on intervals. But for now, let's take a look at the interval distances between each of these notes. So from C to D, the first two notes of the, of the scale, that interval is a tone. From D to E, that interval is also a tone. From E to F, that interval is a semitone. From F to G, the interval is a tone. From G to A, the interval is a tone. From A to B, the interval is a tone. And finally, from B to C, the interval is a semitone. That in essence is the structure of the major scale. Tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. It's also known as a diatonic scale because it contains five tones and two semitones. And once again, there is a quick grab on diatonic if you want to look at that in more depth. But in essence, that's what a major scale is. It's tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. It doesn't matter where you start on the piano, uh, the same pattern applies. By way of example, we're just going to very quickly show you the G major scale. I'm going to select this entire scale and I'm going to transpose it up to G. So the first note now begins on G here. And you can see that I have G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp and then G. So again, if we do the same thing we did before, I'm going to play through this scale. Just watch the keyboard as it plays. Okay, so all of the same notes that we had in the C major scale, apart from the F, which becomes sharp. And the reason for that is simply to do with the intervals. Okay, so if we take a look at the intervals now between each of these notes, let's have a look on the keyboard and see what happens. We're starting on this G. So from G to A is a tone, that's fine. A to B is also a tone, which is fine. B to C is a semitone, that's fine. C to D is the tone. D to E is another tone. Now the next interval we need in our major scale has to be another tone. The pattern is tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Now E to F is only a semitone, which means we need to raise the F to F sharp, and hence we get the tone, and then finally F sharp to G gives us our final semitone. So this is why G major has an F sharp in it, to make it conform to that pattern of tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. So that's it in a nutshell. That's what a major scale is. I hope that's useful. Please subscribe to the channel, uh, like this video and leave any questions or comments below and I'll get back to as many of them as possible. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.